All right, everyone. Hey, welcome back to a new Viper Unity tutorial. And we're going to be showing you guys how to integrate the Viper Unity SDK into your Unity project. So first, let's start off by going into our dashboard. And I already created a game here called Candy Game Android. But what you guys can do is that you guys can set up your own games by going over to Add New, iOS, or Google Play. And all you got to do is just input the right app title, app name, bundle identifier, package name, description, genre, subgenre, app ID, shared secret. And so once you go on ahead and create that, you'll be guided into your settings. So let's just head over to our settings right now. And there you'll be shown a game ID and SDK key. You guys are going to want to save those down, make sure you have it. And then let's go back into our Unity project. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna import our SDK. So in order to find the SDK, you guys can either go to our Viper SDK docs over at docs.viper.io or you guys can go straight to our GitHub, which is Bybrew.io, and you'll find your our Bybrew Unity SDK. You guys can download the Unity package right around there. So now let's head back into our Unity project. So in, to import the SDK, all you gotta do is just go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, take the SDK, open it up, import it, and you guys are almost halfway there. So now let's go into our window and in order to start the Viper SDK, we prefer you guys to make sure that you have it in your launch scene in order to get the right KPIs like new user events, user events, uh, session lengths, play times, and all that stuff. We need to make sure that we get it at the very start of your game. So make sure you're in your launch scene and let's go ahead and create the Viper game object and it gets auto created as a prefab inside your launch scene. And now let's go configure the SDK while we go back into his window. And as you can see, we have two options, enable Android settings and enable iOS settings. You guys do have to go into the dashboard and create two different apps, as you guys can saw back in the dashboard. And when you guys create two different apps, you can set in two different app IDs and secret keys. But for right now, since we're, we have Android, let's just set up Android. So let's go back into our Viper dashboard. Let's copy the game ID. And let's copy the SDK key. And boom, you guys are already set up with the Viper SDK. Now let's head into one of our launch scripts and let's start initializing the SDK. So you guys will probably have a loading script and so let's just open that up. And as you can see, I already set up code blocks for Unity Android and Unity iPhone. You guys can set that up too if you're setting up both SDKs or you can just have no code blocks if you don't want to be utilizing something preferred for iOS and something preferred for Android. First, let's import the Viper SDK. And then let's initialize it. We'll go Viper dot initialize Viper. And there you go. That's how you guys initialize Bytebrew, the most basic way to do so. And you guys don't need to have the code blocks here. You guys can just utilize this one liner. Or just as a quick note, if you guys want me to go ahead and implement for iPhone, then you guys will do the same exact thing. Except if you guys are using an app tracking transparency prompt and you guys want to utilize Bytebrew's custom app tracking transparency handler, all we can need to do is just go into our Bytebrew SDK docs copy the snippet of code that's in our docs for our Unity, head back into Unity, and just paste the piece of code here. And there you go. You guys implemented Bytebrew, and you guys are requesting for app tracking transparency. Now, if we go through this, Bytebrew will request app tracking transparency it will bring back the status and then it will initialize. If you guys are going to be doing that, we prefer you initialize Viper inside of this block right here so that we make sure we get the right initialization for ATT. All right, so let's head back into our scene, let the code compile. And there you guys go. You have initialized, set up, and integrated the Viper SDK. We'll be doing further documentation as well as tutorials on how to implement all the many aspects and features of Bytebrew. See you guys then.